How do I bring my spouse or fiance to the United States? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer, practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. I was going to make this video about spouse cases individually, but they're so similar to fiance cases, I thought that I would just put them all into one uh, video. And this is part of our seven part series on how things work at immigration. All right, so let's say that you're a US citizen and that you fall in love and that you're, uh, the object of your affection lives overseas. Let's say they live in Morocco and you are married uh, or you're engaged and that's gonna determine which form that you file. So if you're engaged, you file an I-129F, that's an application for a fiance visa. If you're married, you file an I-130, that's a petition for an alien relative, that's for the spouse of a US citizen. So if you, um, if you are in love, you have to think first, are we gonna do this as a married couple or as an engaged couple? I think marriage-based cases are a little bit easier to get approved, but fiance cases are a little bit faster. So um, usually we just tell people to do what they feel comfortable with with their life situation and don't think too much about trying to do a fiance case because it's faster or a marriage case because it's more uh, stable. It usually is just gonna depend on logistics and when you were last with your spouse and is it easier for you to just start the fiance case or is it better to just go over and get married? So once you make that decision, the application is filed with USCIS and right now it's taking months and months. These cases used to go very quickly, but now they're taking months and months uh, to get approved. And so the first stop is with USCIS. So in this, the inquiry is, are the couple, uh, are both members of the couple free to marry? Have they been married before? If so, were they divorced? If not, are they free to marry? And, and does this look like a valid legal marriage? Um, and if it's an engagement, then it's, does the couple um, intend to get married within 90 days of the foreign nationals arrival and have they met each other face to face at some point in the last two years. Those are the main inquiries. Once USCIS is satisfied, then the case is sent to the National Visa Center. Um, on the uh, I-130 side, you're gonna pay uh, a couple fees and you're gonna process your case through the National Visa Center. On a fiance case, you're gonna pay some fees as well, but the case is more quickly sent to the embassy. So. Um, there's a little bit difference there in, in that part of it. And then eventually you're gonna be set for an interview and embassy interviews are generally pretty short. And so if the couple has a long history together and the um, couple uh, can demonstrate their relationship, it should sail right through at the embassy. Now the embassy in Morocco is particularly difficult and they give people a really hard time, but even in Morocco cases do get approved. and. Um, your case should get approved and the foreign national should receive the fiance visa or the spouse visa and be able to come to the United States. If they are doing it the spouse way, they'll file uh, one last, uh, they'll pay one more fee called the Ellis fee and hopefully the green card will follow the foreign national to the United States when they come. Uh, of course, some cases get stuck and we file lawsuits over those, um, but that's not the point of this video, but it's rather just to tell you sort of the process. So. When you get to the National Visa Center on the I-130 side, you're gonna have to demonstrate that you can support your foreign spouse, that you uh, make enough money. If not, you're gonna need a co-sponsor. And there's a, a milder version of that for fiance cases. So um, there's a lot of logistics to bringing someone here. It's gotten a lot more complicated and it takes a lot longer than it used to. But those are the uh, high overseeing principles of how that all works. If you have questions about a fiance case or a spouse case or about which one's right for you, or if you get stuck during any part of the process and you need some help, give us a call, 314-961-8200. We'd always be happy to help you. You can info us, email us at info at hackinglawpractice.com. Uh, be sure to join us in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. And if you like this video, we ask that you please share it out on social and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you get updates whenever we make videos just like this one. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.